Hello guys, welcome to my channel Rahul Automation Studio. So in my last video, I have explained you how you can create a Maven project in IntelliJ. So in this video, I am going to explain you how you can add different dependency in your pom.xml file. So basically, it is always difficult to manage the different jar files in your project. So you can you can't add different jar files every time. Uh, in your project and in the class path, right? So to manage your jar files, there are uh, Maven is there, so which provides you uh, dependency so that you can download the jar files directly from the Maven repository into your project. So how you can add a dependency in the pom.xml file and how you can manage your different jar files for your project so we have to require we will be requiring different jar files in our project like selenium jar files like test engine jar files for managing our test case or creating our test case uh, for the report puzzle maybe maybe we require uh, extend report jar files for input output operations, Java operations, maybe we need to require common.io dependency uh, jar files, right? So how you can add different dependency in a pom.xml file? So first of all, just open the pom.xml file and that you can see it is having an XML and it is starting with the XML version number and all. So what different configurations also that you can add in your pom.xml file? So you can see it is having group ID, artifact ID and version. So these three tags are very important for your dependency in pom.xml file. Group ID, artifact ID and version. So version is basically the version number that you want to use for your Java, uh, for your jar file. Because every jar is having different version, always there is some update in the jar files and they create a new version for that. So which version you want to download for your project you want to use in your project that you have to mention that version number in the version so group id is this maybe you can change the name also for it you can change the name for automation as we are using our selenium automation project you can add some different features as well here like this is the version and you can add build dependencies So we can add a packaging also what kind of packaging we are we want to use we want to package our project in jar file so in that case you can use as a jar file what name you want to give for that you can use as a name tag for it and the name that we can give as a selenium underscore practice right so like this, you can add some different attribute, different tags for this particular pom.xml file. So this is having a properties. This is a uh, which compiler version that you are using and which Maven compiler you are using for the target that is 8 and 8. And also you can add uh, one more property is there that you can add in this that is source encoding. Okay. So you can also add this property in your Maven form.xml file. That is UFT8. This is a source encoding which will be using as a UFT8. Now we will be adding our dependencies. So for that you have to write as a dependencies. There are two things. One is dependency. One is dependencies. So we have to add as a dependencies tag under the dependencies tag we are going to add dependency so if you see in the dependency automatically it will add a group id and the artifact id for you and also there is you can add as a version number as well which version you want to use for it and in the group id you can type um, also and maybe you can search on the google for the name for your selenium dependency just search selenium maven dependency once you will search in the maven repository you will find the link open that link in your system and you can select any version from the list 
and uh, just click on there it will show your dependency for you so this is the dependency that you have to use just click there copy and paste in your form.xml file like this so we have added selenium java dependency in our form.xml file and once we will reload this project automatically it will add this selenium java jar file in your project i will show you how you can add more dependency file so for that again you can go to there you can search like extent report once you will search just go to that particular page right just click there so we are going to use 2.41.2 version of this particular extend report jar. Just add in your form.xml, just click on save. So two dependencies we have added in the same way we can add a test ng as well. Just search test ng. So you can add anyone. We will be trying to add as this one. Just click on copy, click on paste. So in that way you can download, you can add dependency in your form.xml file. Okay. Now, as it is a Maven project, so for the Maven project, it is having a cycle itself in it. So you have to add a Maven compiler or Maven Surefire plugin for that. So now we are going to add some Maven cycle uh, like compilers in it. So for that, you can add as a build. Under this build, you can add as a plugin management. Under the plugin management, you can add the plugins. What different plugin you want to add? I want to add a plugin, right? So which plugin you want to add? So we have to add a compiler plugin of Maven, right? So how you can add? So in the plugin, just add this. So this is a resource plugin that uh, you are using. So this is the version number of the Maven resource plugin for your project. So in the same way, you can add the compiler as well. So just use this one. In just a moment, we have to add the plugins as well, right? Yeah, that's. So we have added the Maven resources plugin as well, and also we have added the Maven compiler plugin, and which is targeting the source and the target for the it. So we have added the dependency also for the Selenium and for the extent report and for test ng now if we are uh, want to save this as a jar file in our project you have to go to form.xml right click on it go to the maven and reload the project click on reload the project you can see it is resolving the dependencies for this project it is importing refreshing and download so now go to this particular external libraries and in this particular folder you can see it has added the selenium jar files for you for chrome is firefox i 
and also you can see it has added for the particular test ng version we have added the version 6.14.3 same version jar file it has downloaded for test ng in your project it also has downloaded for the selenium files and if you see this version this jar file is for our extent report it has automatically it will download the jar files in your project once you will reload the project so uh, by this you can add different dependency in your maven project so please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye